We can speak now to Kamisa Kamara, who's an expert in Western Central African politics, who joins us from our Washington, D.C. studio. Thank you for being with us. So, it's a huge number of candidates here. Do you see anyone emerging as kind of front-runners at all? I think it's really hard to say whether, who is going to win uh, so soon. Uh, there will definitely be a runoff uh, because there are 20 candidates. But I would say that the two prominent um, uh, candidates are obviously George Weah, uh, who is an international soccer player. He ran against Alan Johnson Sirleaf in 2005. He almost won the election. Uh, so he's running again with a, a, a running mate who is a woman. Um, and uh, there is also Joseph, uh, Joseph Bolkai, who is the current uh, vice president of Ellen Johnson's Relief, who's running under the banner of uh, the Unity Party. So these are, in my opinion, the two candidates who might go into a runoff in a couple of weeks. Uh, and if whoever wins, they've got a huge amount on their plate, haven't they? Talk us through some of the issues that, uh, that are still big in Liberia, even, even after the, kind of the progress that's happened there in the last few years. So I would say that the, the first uh, major uh, challenge that the new president will have is to rebuild the health system. Uh, you might remember a couple of years ago when the Ebola outbreak uh, raged through Liberia, over 5,000 Liberians lost their lives. And uh, due to the Ebola outbreak, the entire health system collapsed. So the new president will have to, to rebuild uh, that, that health system. Also. Um, Liberia has been a donor-driven country for decades, so the economy will have to be rebuilt. Infrastructure will have to be rebuilt, the education system as well. So uh, even though Alain Johnson's relief was able to keep stability and peace uh, over those past 12 years, the new president will have um, uh, big shoes to fill, but also will have a lot of challenges on his plate. You mentioned that there's big shoes to fill. T tell us a little bit about the legacy of uh, Johnson's relief. Well, so there are some, some obvious ones. Uh, she's the first uh, African uh, elected women president, a Nobel, a Nobel Prize winner, uh, someone who was able to win the, the confidence, uh, the trust of her people after 14 years of civil war. Um, so this is uh, huge on the international scene. However, um, within Liberia, I think that the, the feelings are, are mixed. Um, the, the corruption has been rampant in Liberia over the past 10 years. Uh, there have been allegations of nepotism. Um, and uh, so those are, are some of the, the dark sides of uh, uh, Ellen Johnson's relief's rule. But again, she was able to maintain peace and stability in a country that just came out of a civil war. I think that's a huge feat. Kamisa Kamara, thank you very much indeed uh, for sharing your thoughts on uh, the elections in Liberia. Thank you. Thank you.